At the time of the strike, Akil and the commanders of the Radwan forces were gathered underground, under a residential building in the heart of the Dachya in Beirut. Hezbollah is an internationally recognized terrorist organization. It is a threat to the people of Israel, the people of Lebanon, the Middle East, and the entire world. Since October 8th, Hezbollah has fired over 8,000 rockets, missiles, and explosive UAVs at Israeli civilians, forcing over 60,000 Israelis to evacuate from their homes. Just today, Hezbollah fired over 200 rockets at Israel. The Israel Defense Forces has a duty to defend the people of Israel and ensure their safe and secure return to their homes in northern Israel. Today, in pursuit of that goal, the IDF conducted a targeted strike in Beirut on senior terrorist Ibrahim Akil, the head of Hezbollah's operations and the commander of Hezbollah's elite Radwan forces. I can now confirm that Ibrahim Akil was eliminated together with other senior terrorists in Hezbollah's Radwan forces. Ibrahim Akil had the blood of many innocent people on his hands. Israelis, Americans, French, Lebanese, and more. During the 1980s, Akil was a principal member of Islamic Jihad organization, Hezbollah's terror cell, that claimed the bombings of the U.S. Embassy in Beirut in April 1983, which killed 63 people, and the U.S. Marine Barracks bombing in October 1983, which killed 241 U.S. personnel. Ibrahim Akil also directed the kidnapping of Americans and Germans in Lebanon. Ibrahim Akil and the Radwan commanders who were eliminated today were planning Hezbollah's conquer the Galilee invasion plan into Israeli communities. These terrorists planned to do in northern Israel what Hamas did in southern Israel on October 7th. Invade Israeli homes and kill innocent people. At the time of the strike, Akil and the commanders of the Radwan forces were gathered underground, under a residential building in the heart of the Dachya in Beirut, hiding among Lebanese civilians, using them as human shields. They were in the middle of planning more terror attacks against Israeli civilians. We are determined to fulfill our mission protecting the people of Israel and fulfilling our goal of bringing our hostages home and ensuring an enduring defeat of Hamas in Gaza.